They say that a healthy person is a beautiful person. Experts confirm that from the way your skin looks, you can tell how well your body is functioning. That is why it is very important to monitor your skin condition. Today, we will visit the center where they are very well versed in how to treat skin and make people healthy and beautiful. So we're going to the Moscow center of Dermatovenerology and Cosmetology. The Moscow Scientific and Practical Center of Dermatovenerology and Cosmetology of the Department of Health of the Moscow government is a high-profile medical organization in Russia and Europe. This year, it celebrates its 10th anniversary. The center has 17 branches located in all districts of the capital. Annually, approximately 2,000 employees render services to more than 12 million patients the number of visits per shift reaches 9,000 people. The Moscow Scientific and Practical Center for Dermatology and Cosmetology of the Department of Health of the Moscow government is a network of clinics that treats and diagnoses skin diseases, sexually transmitted infections, as well as aesthetic issues, cosmetology, and many other related problems that affect the health of Muscovites and beyond as we work throughout a large network. The Scientific and Practical Center is engaged in scientific and educational activities in addition to clinical and diagnostic work. Not so long ago, our center was certified five stars by the European Foundation for Quality Management. And this shows that our organization is one of the leading institutions in our profile in the country and is appreciated by European colleagues. This award is given out for the organization of various types of management activities in the structure of the organization itself, starting with the organization of administrative work and ending with the organization of the work of the departments and even the doctors. The center provides a full range of services related to dermatological and venerological care. The main specialization of the organization is the diagnosis and treatment of skin diseases. For Muscovites and Russian citizens in general, solving such problems at the center is free of charge as it is covered by their obligatory medical insurance policies. The center employs specialists of the highest caliber, candidates and doctors of science as well as honored doctors of Russia. We also have a science department that deals with scientific research. Several times we have received the Moscow Government Award for Innovation in Medicine, which of course is our pride. And we also have clinical research because we want to be at the cutting edge of science and we need to understand what new drugs are coming and, of course, provide our patients with care that is cutting edge and very effective. And importantly, of course, it's safe. We have more than 20 doctors of medical sciences working in our center who are engaged in scientific development. And of course, all of this leads to the fact that we are introducing innovative treatment methods into our work for the first time. Innovation and high-tech care is impossible without modern technology. The Moscow Scientific and Practical Center of Dermatovenerology and Cosmetology of the Department of Health has some of the most modern medical equipment in the Russian capital. As soon as new specialized technologies appear on the market, they will most likely arrive at this center within a short period of time. In addition, specialists of the center also develop their own equipment. First of all, we are talking about our MOS Derma 03 model, which has already gained credibility among professionals. And further research and development of equipment continues. Now, we have filed a patent application for equipment that will help us in the treatment and diagnosis of diseases such as acne and vitiligo. The center also has one of the largest laboratory complexes in Moscow. More than 250 employees work here. They deal with a wide range of tests, 
from biochemical blood analysis to microanatomy. All tests are performed in our own laboratories. They are equipped with the latest technology. These include a pathohistology laboratory. And of course, this allows us to quickly, and most importantly, reliably, obtain test results and interpret them. And this affects the speed of diagnosis and further treatment. Today, our center performs more than 10 million analyses every year. Since the beginning of the COVID-19 epidemic, PCR tests and antibody tests have also been performed here. In total, more than 2.5 million such tests have been performed. Could you tell me, please, why is it so important to keep one's skin in proper condition? The skin is the largest organ in the human body. And, of course, some diseases can even disable patients. And some, of course, they can manifest simply as cosmetic and do not require any special correction, unless a patient has a special desire to do so. Skin problems are generally very common in the population. In fact, there is not a single person who does not have a spot of pigment, a mole, or a growth of some kind. Of course, at some time in life, most often there is some kind of skin problems. For example, young people have acne. With age, there are some evolutionary changes to the skin. What are the basic rules of skin preservation? In order to protect the skin, of course, you should not expose yourself to excessive sunlight because it can lead not only to some cosmetic defects like hyperpigmentation and so on, it can lead to premature aging. We call it involutional skin changes, photoaging. But it can also lead to malignant skin tumors that are very dangerous, such as melanoma. And that is why we encourage all people, all populations, to pay close attention to all neoplasms that appear, to all neoplasms that have changed their shape or may have become enlarged recently, and make sure you see a doctor. We decided to follow the chief doctor's advice and went for an examination to one of the most modern departments of the center, the Center for Non-Invasive Skin Diagnostics. Here, in just one visit and in under an hour, you can undergo screening of the skin of the whole body. This is done by PhotoFinder, a hardware-software complex for skin examination by digital dermatoscopy. First, the main camera scans the body from all sides, then each formation is highlighted and the data is entered into the database. The skin passport is ready. If specialists find suspicious masses on the body, they are examined further. We look at the skin in problem areas. One of these growths is located here. There's no problem here, it's a benign skin lesion. We're going to check it now with the artificial intelligence system. Individual growths are checked with a video dermatoscope, which is capable of magnifying the image 140 times so that everything can be seen in the smallest detail. After a growth has come into the camera's field of vision, the image is recorded. The algorithm examines the formation according to various parameters, such as shape, geometry, and color. In the end, artificial intelligence produces the results of the analysis. There are a lot of different ways in which the system does this quickly, but the result comes out on a visual scale. The formation is in the yellow zone. Everything is okay. For individual cases, where the human eye cannot fully see the skin, for example, under the hair, the specialists of the center can be helped by their own inventions, the Moss Derma Apparatus Complex. With the help of a system of filters and special illumination devices, similar to Wood's lamp, the device illuminates problem areas invisible to the human eye. Thus, the technology of the Center for Non-Invasive Diagnostics allows for a quick and painless examination of the patient's entire body and the identification of potential problems. According to statistics, out of 100,000 people who come to the branches of the center for early detection of malignancies after the initial examination by a dermatologist, 
5,000 are sent for examination to the Centre for Non-Invasive Diagnostics. Approximately 500 of them are eventually diagnosed malignant skin neoplasms. In addition to diagnosing and treating skin disease, the centre also provides cosmetic services. Here is the cosmetology department. You can get all the latest services to restore and maintain beauty, such as superficial cosmetology and injectable cosmetology, which is the internal nourishment and stimulation of the skin. And also apparatus cosmetology, which is directly engaged in the correction of faults or imperfections of the skin. One of the features of the cosmetology department of the centre is a comprehensive approach to solving the problem. One of the most popular cosmetic procedures is the correction of involutionary changes in the skin, that is, the prevention of aging. And depending on the objectives, on the specific situation of the patient, we can, on the one hand, correct expression lines. For this purpose, we have botulism toxins and hyaluronic drugs and fillers, which allow correcting certain aspects, certain problems of the patient. On the other hand, of course, hyperpigmentation on the face will also age the patient, and we try to adjust this aspect. We have special equipment that will help us resolve this problem. Could you tell me why you came here today? I just need to have some procedures done to my face, maybe cleared up somewhere. And could you explain how you take care of your facial skin? I'm a man, so... Like most men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not really. I'd like to see if I can assess the condition of your complexion. And then I'll find the best treatment for you. Great. Okay. Well, Mike, it's not bad in principle. But really, the skin needs to be cleaned up a bit. And I'd like to improve the condition of the surface through a micro-cleansing. That's what the hydrofacial treatment is for. It's good for cleansing the skin. It helps to moisturize it. Because considering life in a big city, taking into account external factors of the environment, this is of course very necessary. The procedure itself is pleasant and painless. It's ideal because you see the results right away. And I would also like to remove some of the vascular elements that you have, mostly in the area around the base of the nose and nostrils, which is a very frequent localization. Okay, great. Then let's get started. The hydrofacial machine works in several stages. First, it exfoliates the top layer of the skin with a diamond nozzle and vacuum. Next, the nozzle is changed and the face is cleansed with a special lotion. It goes onto the skin from one part of the nozzle, absorbs everything in excess and goes back through the other part of the nozzle. All fluids are based on herbal extracts and are hypoallergenic. Does it hurt at all? No, no, it's fine. All good. Next, a special serum is applied to the skin which softens the pores and facilitates cleansing. This is very useful for people living in a metropolitan city whose sweat glands are constantly clogged with the dust of the big city. The final stage is the application of the moisturizing serum and a low intensity laser treatment. It improves the structure and quality of the skin. Clean skin is an indicator of health, and modern technology helps us maintain it as long as possible. One of the most popular cosmetic services available at the center is photo rejuvenation. This procedure improves the condition of the skin and solves many dermatological problems. The M22 apparatus, which is used for this procedure, combines four laser modules for photo rejuvenation, vascular treatment, laser rejuvenation and alignment of the skin color. All manipulations are performed non-invasively. First, a special gel is applied to the patient's face, which facilitates the gliding motion of the apparatus's head, cools the skin and prevents burns. 
Next, a powerful pulsed light is used to remove skin imperfections that are not on the surface. And they stimulate the growth of new collagen, the protein responsible for the elasticity and healthy appearance of the skin. Every patient can find a use for the M22 device because it addresses a very wide range of cosmetic and dermatological problems, including correction of aesthetic skin flaws after treatment of acne, post-acne, rosacea, various pigmentary disorders, and scarring of the skin. That is, its range of possibilities is limitless. In the meantime, it is time for another procedure laser vascular removal. It does not negatively affect the blood microcirculation as it removes only those vessels that have no functional load and spoil the appearance of the skin. My visit to the dermatology centre has come to an end and I can share my impressions. I feel that my skin has become younger and I think I look better than when I came here a few hours ago. I really like the professionalism of the doctors and the modern equipment. I believe that you need to trust your health and beauty only to the specialists with specialized medical education. A Big Asia LTD production. This program was produced with the support of the Department for External Economic and International Relations of the Moscow government.